Hello there, Capricorn. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So, uh, we have got your spirit monthly messages for the month of August 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid, okay? So just because this is for the month of August 2020, it doesn't mean it has to resonate for you, all right? At that time. But also it's a general reading, so it may not resonate with you at all, okay? But, you know, just, so whatever. It's all good. All right. Um, <laughs> okay, here's the deal, Capricorn. You and Sagittarius are going through something very similar. So... Either you have Sagittarius in your chart somewhere, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, or you are dealing with someone that has Sagittarius somewhere, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Jupiter, or what you need to look at is where Sagittarius is in your housing system, like what house Sagittarius is in. You do that from your rising sign, and I highly, highly recommend that you do this from sidereal astrology, not tropical because sidereal astrology is actually way more accurate for us, okay? But that's your choice. I mean, it's your, it's your thing, and if tropical really does resonate with you, then by all means, follow that system, all right? But there is a choice that you need to make, Capricorn, and it's in terms of a relationship. Now, this is a general reading. This is not specifically a love reading. So love could come up here, or it could just be we're talking about business partnership or creative partnership or something like that. The card you have on the bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. And underneath the Two of Cups, you have the Four of Swords. And underneath that, you have the Moon. Underneath that, you have the Ten of Wands. Um, what this is kind of saying right now, Capricorn, is that you've got to take a, you've got to like fall back, take a step back, and really meditate on this relationship that you have with someone. For some of you, this is so general that for some of you, you need to meditate on the your patterns or your, yeah, your patterns in relationships. Again, whether that be business, creative, or romantic, it doesn't matter. Okay? Or friendships even. Family. Okay? Um, but something needs to be seen clearer on your behalf in order for you to make the right decision for yourself, the lovers. The lovers is a choice. It's also a choice of vice or virtue. And it seems that you've been choosing vice in this situation. The wants, the needs, the desires, and the wishes of other people around you instead of what it is you truly want. The next message for you is the Knight of Cups. Oh, good. Whew. Whew. Okay. So first of all, when I saw the Knight of Cups, I heard follow your heart. But then I saw there was another card underneath that. And I was like, oh, God, please don't make this the tower. It's not the tower. It's actually the star. You really have to follow your heart here, Capricorn. You have... Ooh, shit. Okay, well, first of all, you have a manipulative person around you. Feminine energy, whether it's a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Um, feminine orientation in some way, whether that's physical or energetic. I know I just repeated myself there. But the first thing I heard when this Queen of Cups came out, I heard she's manipulating you. She is emotionally manipulative. But now, but also Capricorn, this represents you needing to get down to the bottom of your emotions and really figure out what is going on here for you. You have that with the Ten of Cups. You also have it with Temperance and the Eight of Cups. Ultimately, you need to walk away from, some, from something, Capricorn, but also you need to figure out what it is what it is that you're doing here. What are we doing here? What's going on here? What is what? What do I really feel about this situation? What, what would I need to do to make, to make myself feel happier? And if you're in a position where you are requiring other people, if you are externalizing your happiness, I should say, requiring other people to do certain things, act certain ways, say certain things, show up a certain way just for you to be happy, ooh, that is toxic. You need to let that go. And you need to get to the bottom of the reason why you feel like you have to require other people to make you happy. I'm also getting with this Ten of Cups that you have an option, you have a chance to receive your ideal relationship, but you need to understand what that is for yourself first. All right, cap it to cap. Oh shit, judgment, really? Judgment. Judgment, Capricorn higher calling. And no, I'm not saying judgment to like strike fear in you. 
no, but some of you are kind of afraid of me saying that. It's triggering you in some way because judgment is a higher calling. Judgment is a wake up call. Sorry, I'm reading a notification. Judgment is a wake up call, Capricorn. Okay. I'm gonna give this one more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got for you. I feel like my phone is crooked. It's fine. It's fine, Eric. Stop playing with it. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of August 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, look, uh, Capricorn, I'm going to give this five shuffles. One. But I want to say, when I was doing, I did Sagittarius before I did your reading, right? And the, your your symbol, the of like the, the goat fish, the fish goat or whatever, that was coming into my mind. Like I was seeing that when I was channeling energies for Sagittarius. And then I did sad, the rest of Sagittarius's reading, and now I'm in your reading, and they're both very similar, okay? But even now, when back then when I was seeing your energy, and even now that I'm trying to perceive of your energy, this is shuffle number two. You look gray. Like all the color has been drained out of you, all the life. No, not all, not all. Because if I look at the full symbol at the very bottom, right where the, the end of the fin of the of the fin of this goat fish or whatever, there's some green in there, and green is a symbolic of Earth, and Capricorn is an Earth sign. But there's some green in there. But everything else above you is just drained, 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 drained of all life, drained of all energy. Three. Um, and I do feel like something that came through in your love reading, if you're not on Patreon, follow me on Patreon and for $7, you get everything that I do on Patreon, which includes the love readings. But I, something came through there where it felt like you guys were like in an extreme, some of you are in an extreme provider point of view or a pro provider position. And I'll say this because it's a very important message. I don't want to give all of what came through in the love reading away, then you won't go watch it, right? Right. But I will say that there are some situations out there in which you are connected to a family system or, or a business situation or something like that in which you are being drained of your life and your resources and these people cannot be denied. That is a problem. That's a problem, Capricorn. Shit, I lost count. I think this is three. Sorry, guys. Four. Oops. Four. And we'll just go ahead and call this five. Maybe it is five. I'm not sure. I don't care. It doesn't matter. We're going to do it. We're just, just going to do it this way. Five. Okie dokie. Overall energy for you, Capricorn. Oh, shit. Death. Yeah. Yeah, dude. No, like, no, like, shit's getting real now, y'all, because, like, death is here, and that means, ooh, we got a transformation on our hands. Hey, hey. All right. <laughs> Underneath death, you, oh, you've got the Ace of Swords, Cappy? Oh, shit. So, like, you know what this is already? Damn. Underneath the Ace of Swords is the High Priestess. And underneath the High Priestess is none other than that Ten of Cups again. Your higher self is leading you to exactly what it is that you want. And the High Priestess here is saying, no more questions. You know enough already. You have enough truth, enough truth, enough knowledge, enough proof for you to make this transition, for you to step into this next reality, into this next phase in your life. And no, I'm not going to give you all the answers first. Oh, so practical Capricorn. I'm just not gonna, because it's not necessary. You know what you need to know now. I just heard a, a, a hawk cry out in the sky. 
I'm hearing you see clearly. You see this, you see the bigger picture here. You're seeing from a higher point of view here. You have sufficient, a sufficient amount of understanding to know that something's got to go. And no, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know how it's going to turn out. We don't know what's coming next, but we sure as shit know that whatever we have here just ain't working. First set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading. The Ace of Wands. Well, gee, would you look at that? Inspired much? <laughs> All right. And look, I'm not trying to make fun of anybody. I'm just trying to make this as light as possible because obviously this is some heavy shit. You know what I'm saying? So like... And no, I'm not mocking you. If I'm triggering somebody here right now, look, man, I'm sorry. I'm not out here trying to like disrespect people. But if you're being triggered, then that means that there's something you need to look at and stop blaming everyone else for your problems. Ace of Wands is coupled with the Five of Pentacles. Ooh. <laughs> What I heard was someone's being left out in the cold. And it's probably this toxic individual that you're needing to cut out of your life or this toxic situation that you're needing to cut out of your life. And they're going to be left out in the cold because you will no longer be providing whatever it is you provide to them, to them any longer. But quite frankly, that is their own fault. Because the thing about the five of pentacles and this energy of like feeling like you're being left out in the cold is that the cold hard truth here, my friends, you are the only individual that can ever leave yourself out in the cold. Because yeah, sure, other people might reject you. Other, may, other people might say you're wrong. Other people may not want to support you, may not want to help you, may not want to associate with you. But that doesn't mean you have to do that to your own self. And what I'm seeing here with the Ace of Wands and the Five of Pentacles is that someone is, insp is inspired to take some sort of action, but that action is going to lead to someone else being left out of the cold because they don't have the balance and the integration that they need within in order to see that there is a church right behind these people. There is sanctuary right behind them. They don't have to be out there trudging around in the snow in their rags and, and, and on their clutches, crutches. They could turn right around and seek sal a refuge in that church right there. But see, whomever is inspired here has got that going on already. And they're draining you of it because they don't want to find it themselves. And now that's tripping you up because it's like, shit, I'm responsible for this. I can't leave these people out in the cold. But see, Capricorn, you are the one leaving yourself out in the cold if you continue to allow this to happen, especially now that you're aware of it. <clears throat> Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading. Okay, you've got the King of Wands. The King of Wands has been coming out consistently for you and Sagittarius. And the message in the King of Wands is do not back down. Do not allow anyone to tell you that you're wrong or that you can't. And if there is, and see, you need, some of you need to be that beacon <clears throat> to whomever these people are that are constantly leaving, the, leaving themselves out in, the, out in the cold and are requiring others to provide to them what they have the ability to provide to themselves. And let me tell you, I'm not saying they're going to have the ability to provide it to themselves the way you do, but everybody has the ability. Everybody has the connection to the abundance of source that will sustain our lives. Yes, we are social people. But we are still individuals with all the tools that we need to live a successful life on our own. God, source, themselves, intentionally provided each and every one of us with that. Now, I understand some of you are, some people, maybe if you're like extremely crippled or, or extremely disabled, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you were given the tools that you need to, move, to, 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 to live your life. It is your choice not to use them. And when it comes to this Ten of Wands energy, I'm sorry, this King of Wands energy, but isn't it quite fitting that I just called it the Ten of Wands? We don't have any Tens out here yet. So it's not like I 
I, I slipped and just was like, oh no, I was just looking at that 10 over there. No, we have no 10s. So this King of Wands energy is representative of also some 10 of Wands energy, some burden, strife. But the pillar in this is, or the, the message in this King of Wands is you need to stand up and say, stop telling me you can't. Because you know you can. We both know you can. If I can, you can. Because the King of Wands ain't going to let nobody tell him that he can or cannot do something. So especially in the sense of you needing to move on or cut yourself free from some sort of relationship or situation and walk away from that shit, ain't nobody going to be able to tell you that you can't. They can chicken neck all they want. They can get in your face all they want. They can bop, 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 bop all they want. But shh, they're just wasting their breath, aren't they? <laughs> all right. King of Wands is coupled with. strength damn dude standing up being strong taming your ego your challenge in the first half of your reading here capricorn you have the nine of pentacles you got to stand on your own that's all there is to it. You have got to stand on your own. You've got to stand in your sense of independent, independence and uh, autonomy and sovereignty. And some of you just need to straight up become single. Nine of Pentacles is coupled with the Empress. So the reason why this is challenging for you is because there is a fear that you won't be provided for. There is a fear that you're a bad person or that these other people around you won't get what they need. But everyone is provided for in terms of the universe. Everyone is provided for. So you don't have to be afraid of that. And no, you're not a bad person by thinking if you have to leave this situation, then by thinking that you're a bad if you have to leave a situation, you're not a bad person for thinking that. And you will continue to be provided for. The universe is not going to now cut you of your, cut, uh, 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 cut off your abundant flow because you decided to leave a situation, a circumstance, or a relationship. There are plenty of, uh, there, there are plenty of options out there. There are plenty of fish in the sea. The, the, the universe is literally overflowing with abundance. You just have to allow yourself to have access to it. And for some of you, you are disconnected from this abundant or this abundant flow because you're not in alignment or this situation is not in alignment for you. So if the situation were in alignment for you, you could be this extreme provider and still be connected to source and just constantly be renewed with energy. But because it's, a, a, it's because the relationship or the situation is out of alignment for you, now it's really just draining your life force because you don't have that connection, that, that abundant connection to source. It's literally, Capricorn, it's literally draining you of your life force. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading, you have temperance again. Balance. Harmony, union, realchemizing, but this is more than just say the balance, finding balance like what the Two of Pentacles would say. This is spiritual balance. This is holistic a balance. This is holistic balance. This is balance that is true to your soul. This is a higher form of balance. Uh, temperance is coupled with. The five of wands. Opinions are like assholes, Capricorn. Everybody's got one. That doesn't change the truth. That doesn't change what you truly need to be balanced and sustained. It doesn't change the truth, Capricorn. Their opinions do not hold a candle, cannot hold a ca I'm gonna stop there. 
And I'm going to move on to your part two, Spirit Monthly Message part two, which is going to be found over on Patreon. If you're not following me there, I highly recommend that you check me out. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. The link is also in the description box below. Um, $5 a month, you get the Spirit Monthly Messages part two, but just that. $7 a month, you get everything. Spirit Monthly Messages part two, your love readings and any after hours or, or uh, oracle messages or maybe even specific twin flame readings that I do, okay? So check me out. But if I don't see you over on Patreon, then I still, I'm so grateful that you were here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of September. Y'all, take care. Bye.